Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm here in our fellowship hall, um, as you can tell. Uh, so I'm excited to bring this week's video to you. Uh, and I want to talk about three new things. Um, if you were at the annual meeting, uh, Pastor Paul talked about um, doing things that uh, united us, being one unit, working together. And um, I thought it was pretty cool because I had this idea before he even said that. So that's like a Holy Spirit moment. And uh, so those three, three things, and I mentioned them briefly. I also ha had them in the, uh, the annual, annual report that I wrote. But uh, it's, the first one is the green. All three of these things are events that can help bring us together to worship together as one unit. So regardless of if you go to the 1030 or the 9 o'clock, we can certainly come together on uh, these events and types of things to, uh, to worship and magnify God together, right? So the, the first one is the, the green, um, and that's going to be, we don't, we don't know what, it's going to start in March. We know that. We got that much down. Uh, we don't know what day of the week it's going to be. Um, we, we are working on some themes right now, but the overall look and feel of it is going to be, um, very prayerful. Yes, we're going to sing songs. Um, the first three months is probably just going to be some vocals and acoustic. Uh, there's going to be just some nice music to meditate to. We're going to do some um, prayers of intercession, and we're going to have um, prayers for healing. Uh, it's just going to be an hour-ish time just to come together there's not going to be a message, but we're certainly going to tie it to Scripture. Maybe take a journey through the Psalms is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and so that's, that's, that's one thing, which, which I'm excited about that. The other thing is, uh, and I'm calling it right now, I'm calling it a songwriting circle. And I don't want that to throw people off because if you don't write songs, you can still be in the circle. <laughs> if you're not a poet, you can still be in the circle. And all this really is, and I was talking with um, uh, Anita is Astro. And um, she, she told me a couple of stories and where, where God was so visible in her life and what he was doing at that time. And um, those are the types of stories that we need to try to capture and, and, and put, them into a, uh, put them into a testimony or put them into a song. Because those are the types of stories, these testimonies put the song, are the type of, types of stories that do two things. Number one, they, they share your thing. They share, they, share, they share your testimony. They do three things. Number two, they offer hope to the people that hear them, right? Because the chances are there's other people that are going through very similar things or have gone through or will be going through um, some of these things, right? And number three, which I think is the coolest thing, it paints a picture of what God is doing right now in this church, in our community, so that's the songwriting circle. So if you're interested in that, reach out to me, pull me aside on a Sunday uh, and, and tell me, hey, that songwriting thing, I don't write songs, but you know what? God's been really doing this and I'd like to talk to you some more about it. I mean, just gathering together in the coffee spot for an hour, um, whether it's just you and I or, or a few of us sharing what God is doing, there's nothing but good that can come out of that. Uh, and then lastly, and this isn't happening until all the way in October, but I wanted to, to tell you about it now. We have a, a band um, that tours all around the country doing, doing um, worship. They, they, lead, they lead worship at a number of different churches throughout the country, uh, and they use that um, to help really speak into the lives of worship leaders and worship teams, but also the, the church that they lead. So they're all the way up from uh, upstate New York. The name of the band is Brothers McClurg, and you can look them up. Maybe I'll put a link or something in here, but you can look them up. And what excites me about it is that it's, uh, the, their music style is, is really, it's really cool, but it's different than what we do at the nine o'clock service and is different than what we do at the 1030. So here we are coming together to be led by music um, that we're not accustomed to, but yet we can get a different feel and a different idea um, or different ways to, to be led in worship, which, which is phenomenal. Again, anytime people come together um, to gather and praise and pray together, powerful things happen. So where am I? I'm at the, I'm almost at the five minute mark. So that's it. I'm cutting it off.
But uh, I really appreciate you, um, you know, listening to these videos. I hope it does bring some kind of value. I hope, uh, I hope my, my excitement is coming across at least a little bit. Um, I, 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 I've been very prayerful about this. And I just want you guys to know that it's, it is a, a true blessing um, to, serve, to serve here at Woodstown Presbyterian Church, to come before you uh, on Sunday mornings and, uh, and do what we can as a team of worship leaders to, uh, yeah, just push back the darkness so we can see the light of Jesus. So uh, I'll see you all Sunday. God bless you. Take care.